here we go again. I have uh, 20 minutes of this stuff, so give me a couple seconds. So that's 20 minutes of a good up, and essentially what I've done is I've come up to the logger's landing end here. Now if you saw the video, the last video, this is where we are, where we were. And out beyond the logging mess, I found a bit of cart pass, and it led us out to a very, very small root cellar. It must have been an early settler site. There wasn't much there, no well, no barn, no improved land. But definitely, there was a small house shanty cabin something there. Well, we're back up here today. Because my thought is, I couldn't believe I found that site. Beyond all this mess, and th this is the, a ridge line. I mean, it goes up and up and up. But that car path that was out there should head in this direction. And you can see in here, old logging. So we're out to look on the other side of where we were the other day in hopes that by chance or miracle we find another old home site on the side of this little mountain. All right, let's do it. Huh. I'm not too far into the wood line. Those are definitely stacked rocks. Well, that's interesting. So, my thought is, this dry brook is redirecting it because that is rutted out. That means we're near a car path, which is exactly what we're looking for, but you know what? Maybe it's not to direct. Maybe that's what's left of the old bridge. Look at all these rocks. Yeah. This area is wild. Absolutely wild. Wow. So I've hiked up to this ridge line before, not in this area. And from the road where you can park to the top, it's just a tickle under two miles. It's like one point, you know, eight or nine. And literally, it's up the entire way. It's getting steeper, which I'm hoping it levels out. A lot of times, I'm off the side of it now, but what becomes a brook may have been a road hundreds of years ago, and there were stacked rocks down there, so... Actually, I might be seeing stacked rocks way, way up there. Alright, let's go look. Oh yeah. Ooh. Well, we have rock wall up here. No doubt about that. So it's the same thing as the other day. Bits and pieces of a cart path, logging rut. And I'm hoping, just like the site the other day, we get up to an area and it plateaus. Which it's kind of doing. I stopped filming a while ago because I'm having a tough time with navigating. It is so thick in here, but I keep following broken paths. You know, whether it's logging, cart, whatever. It's plateauing up here, but it's getting thicker. So I'm gonna hydrate, just keep following it. That's all we can do. Well, one hour in, and a sanctuary of flat up here. Whew, high enough I can see the horizon. I don't know about this one. Whew, come on, give us some stacked rocks. A little stack of rocks. 
little indent up here. I don't know. I just start swinging around. It's the only flat spot we've come across through the whole course of it all. Well, I just spent a little while swinging the machine. Nothing. It's actually a better spot than the last site, you know, a mile over or whatever it is. And you can see right there, that's the old rut and loggers road. Hmm. All right, I'm going to move. That's all we can do. I mean, I'm not surprised because it's pretty bad up here, but there's signs of travel. And because of that one the other day, you know, you got to go look. Tell you one thing, I will truly be glad when I get out of here. It's kind of, kind of sketchy being this far out in this mess by myself, but these are the things that we do and must be done. Wow. So you can see that it's, it doesn't look like much, but it's a little bit more open than the sidelines. wall way out and you can see the logging rut that I've been following blew right through it so we're still following the right course at least at the attempt to get out of here could not imagine building a wall up here. All right, that way. And see, this is the thing. Look how bad it has got since we crossed over that wall up there. So up there we have wall and a plateau of flat. I mean, there still could be a home site up there. It's just... It's just treacherous. It's so thick. Man. You're not going to go through all that trouble to go up here, square that off. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. Obviously, I'm not going nearly the way I came in because I've been all over the place. I'm just trying to cut back to the east and find that original logging road path. Oof, I just keep finding myself getting ledged like I am right now. Well, there's a glimmer of hope. Can you see it? Wall. I'm hoping that's the one we passed way, way back initially. And it's actually the vegetation's changing, so it looks more familiar. That's got to be it. Doesn't happen too often. I think I need my laces. Actually, I think we are kind of close to where we uh, entered the mess. <laughs> it is. So, compass brain, thank you. That's where we went up. So, we came in about, I don't know. 50 feet off from 
where we entered the thick. All right, let's go back down to where those rocks were stacked. That small little strip and look around there. Wow, I just got totally lucky. Let's get a tally. Now keep in mind, this little strip of rocks, we're still 20 minutes up from the proper road. And in there, we just did 2.2 miles. So roughly a mile up, a mile back. We've been at it a couple hours. But somebody took the time to stack that strip of rocks. Well, nothing up by the little wall, so I, I dropped out to where it's been logged. It's an awful lot of iron. Kind of makes me wonder where they landed and opened this all up. Iron. Was this a home site? Where we were going is the side of the mountain, plateau area. People were definitely doing things up there because there's a guy over there. Um, but this, it's a whole different story. Well, the, the stuff in the loggers landing isn't convincing. Always find junk in a spot like this, but this is another New Hampshire history mystery. We've established people were living up there because of the site the last video. He was in that square. And then over here, we got those stacked rocks, that cart path that goes up to that plateau. There's walls. Yeah, we'll try it again at some point in the future when it's not so overgrown. But today I'm glad it's over. That was rough. I'm going home. See ya.